Seems I was right. Without you, the plan wouldn't have worked. We're still not out of here. Wow, Jay. I really didn't believe I'd ever see that face of yours again. And who's that? This is John Chaser. Well, a legend in person. Glad to see you. Good work up there on Majestic. Not only have you destroyed the pride of Mars Corp, but you also kept the Earth units busy long enough. And believe me, it was necessary. Somebody destroyed our last delivery. Not to worry, though, the Siberian Road wasn't our only artery. We have other sources. Too bad you couldn't get Stone, too. Stone? He was on Majestic? Yeah. Stone is Longwood's best man. You can be happy to have survived contact. Only few have managed that. We've had alarming news, friends. An analysis of deliveries to the South Pole shows the construction of a large military complex and cloning facility. A large one, at least class three, if not high. Cloning? What does he want to do with clones? Class three means that he can assemble whole bodies. Right. But these are just soulless pieces of meat. Demented individuals who, except for their organs, are a dead end business. And this fact was bothering us until we got a few more pieces of the puzzle. In addition to the cloning facility, he's also built a dark eye. Dark Eye? It's the code name for a piece of equipment that can transmit a human mind into a new host. Not only can it transmit a mind, it can also copy it. So it can record the contents of a top warrior's mind and then transmit it into the brains of dozens or hundreds of clones. This is an instrument to build an invincible army. Scott Stone multiplied by 1,000. My god, we're finished! Not yet, but we will be soon if we don't do something about it. The cloning hasn't started yet because the prototype of the future army, Scott Stone, has been on Earth on a top-secret mission. Even our insider couldn't get more details. But we know for sure that he returned a few days ago, so it's only a matter of a very short time before it starts. This isn't just a fight for the freedom of Mars. It's a fight for survival. So what's the plan? The head of the company, Longwood, is sitting safely hidden in his base. We can't get close to it. The only chance to get him is to attack him and his security when he heads for the South Pole. I've analyzed his itinerary and picked a place suitable for the attack. The whole route is strongly secured, so there's no direct way to it, but we could use cargo and service tunnels that are essentially unguarded. Service tunnel E-51 approaches the Longwood Tunnel on a curve. At one point, the lines will be about 10 meters from each other. This will be close enough. A charge of top X will bring the tunnel down. Nobody will be able to survive that. Let's hope we will. And the explosive? A large amount will be required. This is the equipment for the storage of hazardous materials in the Windfall Crater. The company has accumulated large amounts of weapons and explosives here. Not everything is for military use. Some of it is used for terraforming. And we need that. We'll slightly transform the ground 
<laughs> I've acquired the access codes to the lower level, so we'll be disguised as the technicians and maintenance staff that come every two weeks to inspect the system. Okay. Following the authorization, you'll proceed to the complex. We load the Topex and fly low with one of the cargo transporters. Forty-five minutes later, we land at the railway depot at Ravi Ballas, where another of our units will have taken care of removing the security and eliminating the safety systems. We reload the freight and start for the Longwood Tunnel. We shall be there about 15 minutes before the Longwood train starts its approach. Ten minutes for the installation of the explosives, and five minutes to retreat to a safe distance. It'll be very tight, but it'll work. It has to. We've only got one shot. Let's do it.
Look out! There he is!
っ！